Hey soul family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot and in today's reading we're doing what wish or blessing is happening to you before the end of this year. And this topic did not come up randomly. I've noticed in the past couple of readings or many readings that I've done lately that some wish, I'm sure you've noticed too if you've re if you've seen this uh, repeatedly in your piles that a wish is coming true a wish is coming true so you know i thought why not do a reading about what wish or blessing is meant to happen to you before the end of the year so this is why i'm doing this topic today and to do this reading these are the three piles let me introduce your crystals to you for pile number one you have the beautiful white how light and this is what your crystal looks like. For pile number two. Sorry, you have the Mookite Jasper. And this is what your crystal looks like. And for pile number three, you have the beautiful snowflake obsidian. And this is what your crystal looks like. So, take a look at which one of these three crystals are. Uh, so let me put them on their own so that you can see them alone without the decks. There we go. So take a look at which one of these three crystals or maybe even three decks you're the most drawn to. And this or these, sorry, <laughs> I'm going to adjust them now. And this or these will be your piles for today. Please feel free to um, pick more than one pile. If you're drawn to more than one pile, maybe even all of the piles, it could really mean that there are more than one wish that is meant to happen for you. So trust your intuition. If it's just one, then this is your pile. It does not mean that only one wish is going to happen for you. Perhaps in the pile, there'll be several wishes that are... Um, going to be shown to you and maybe you're drawn to all of them then in that case it means that you're meant to see more trust your intuition it is your guide your internal compass that always guides you and leads you to the right readings and once you're ready please head down to the description box click on your times and i will see you in your readings I'm about to assign zodiac signs to each pile. So if this is something that you do not like uh, when picking your pile, please pause the video, take as much time as you need, and I will see you in your readings. Okay, guys, if you like to pick using your zodiac signs, then I have your zodiac signs in uh, um, a case. And I'm going to shuffle them around and we will be picking four crystals for each pile. Let's see what zodiac signs are meant for each piles. Right, so I'm going to try and take like four for the first pile. There we go. So for pile number one, we have the signs Aquarius. And Capricorn, Gemini, and Libra. Oh my, most of the air signs are in pile number one. All right, so pile number two. Two and two. We have the signs Scorpio, Pisces, Sagittarius. And Leo, interesting. 
we've got two water signs and two fire signs really cool <laughs> all right so the last pile will probably mostly be well, will not probably will mostly be earth signs so let's see we have aries virgo taurus and of course cancer All right, so we have the rest of the earth signs and the rest of the water signs and the rest of the fire signs. Pretty diverse here. Okay, so these are the three piles for today. Uh, and these are the zodiac signs associated to each pile. Feel free to use uh, your rising, your sun and your moon. You can go by just one of them if you want um to take my advice on which to go with, I would highly recommend, just like I've learned from astrologers, to go with your rising sign because it deals with your outside world. And it will be the one that would, would resonate with you the most. But how can you resist choosing with your sun sign? <laughs> also, your moon uh, is very significant. That's why we always say rising sun and moon. It de deals with your emotions and your inner world. So, you know, feel free to go by any of these or the three or maybe even a different one some of you love going by your north node your venus it's really all up to you make up your mind about today i want to go with this and this and that and just go ahead straight to your pile you will find the timestamps down in the description box click on your times and i will see you in your readings Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. If you were drawn to your reading intuitively, then your crystals are the white how light. Uh, your crystal is the white how light, sorry. But if you were drawn to your reading using your zodiac signs, then the signs for this pile are Aquarius, Capricorn, Gemini, and Libra. Welcome, guys, to your reading. If these are not your zodiac signs, please don't worry about it at all. Do note that they are present in your reading because they are uh, matching the energies that we will find out today uh, in today's reading. Okay, so as I was explaining in the intro, I've done this reading because I've noticed recently that we've been seeing a lot of your wishes are going to come true this time of your life. They're coming true. A wish or so is coming true. Uh, if these were your piles recently, then you know what I'm talking about. Of course, if you were drawn to pile number one, then it is equally yours as well. So let's find out what this wish or perhaps wishes are that are coming true and happening for you before the end of the year. Okay, so I think this will be your significator card. Ah, you have Tefnut with nur Nurture. Let's keep it right here. You have the gazebo. Looking good. Okay. Well, we can keep it here. The mantle. You know, um, this is outdoors. This area is right at the end of entrance of a door. So I can't help but feel some outdoor activity. It could be traveling. It could be going out with someone. It could be out going out to do something. Let's see. It could be with nurture, a baby coming out, having a baby. We'll find out. You have broom, new starts, cleansing resources. Beautiful. Okay, looking really good. All right, it could be something out of the door, like you're taking something out of your life. This is actually a tarot card, but I love this deck. I'm still studying it, and I thought, why not, uh, you know, use it on the channel? I'll get back, reference the guidebook on what the animal and the herb or the plant uh, prefer, referred to in the reading means. But I really feel uh, in today's reading will also help us in seeing what it means. Wow, look, you have the Eight of Wands. 
this wish is happening very quickly for you. When we talk about before the end of the year, this wish or wishes will be happening rather quickly. And I'll get back after we take a look at your tarot cards to the guidebook and see more about what the author has written about it here. Okay. So, my dear pile number one, what wish or wishes whoa, are coming true for you? No, not this one. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. So, let's see what your cards are. You have the seven of pentacles. It's interesting that you have the seven of pentacles. It gives me an idea that your wish is coming true in a, in a different way than you have pictures or painted in your mind. Because with the Alice in Wonderland, remember when the, they found out the queen wants the roses to be red, they started painting it. So to me, this is saying you, first of all, the seven of pentacles, you've waited for a long time. You think it's coming to you in one way when really it's coming to you in a different light in a different way than you are expecting it. Okay, so you have the moon card again. So we have, there's a lot of mystery here in how it's going to happen or appear in your life. You have the devil card. Interesting. Very interesting. This devil card is actually very interesting. We're talking about timing. Mm. Okay. Also, this could mean in a time that you're not expecting. You're so tied to it happening in a, at a certain time, in a certain way, perhaps. And I feel like it's happening to you in a way you're not expecting. Also, the beginning of how this wish is happening is it could be through a way where you may face some, I don't want to say challenges but it there is there's a trick here because here they're tricking the oyster babies so what i'm trying to say is it will start out in a light with a bit of deception where you could be alerted and thinking hey this is going so wrong but you will quickly realize that the universe has taken you down this path because perhaps it's helping you cleanse something adjust something and it's all going to turn out to be way better than you have expected. Uh, you know how when we sometimes think something is going all wrong only to discover that it was going so right all along just because we thought it was, that's the right way it's done and realizing that we were so lucky that this had happened. Like for example, let's say you were gonna miss your flight, right? And your child wakes you up in the middle of the night and tells you, Mom, uh, I'm really hungry. I... And, then, and then you're like, at, at this time in the morning, they're like, I'm really hungry. Uh, I, I really need food to eat. And you get up, of course, and you help them out. But you really feel bad because you think, oh, no, now that I wake up, I may not be able to sleep again. And you think this is a like really bad situation. And you're trying to question whether you have the right routines for your children. And you're thinking, am I going to be able to do the rest of the day when I'm supposed to be traveling? This, this and that. And you're really stressed at this point. But then you realize that you look at your airplane ticket and you realize it was way sooner than what you thought. And you're like, oh, if I did, had not woken up right now, I would have missed this plane. And what and what I'm trying to say here is what you initially thought was trouble or was not right turned out to be the blessing that is helping you get what you're supposed to get. So timing and how it's done is going to pretty much surprise you in your wish with your wish. So you have the page of swords and here timing sooner than you thought in a way that you're not thinking in a time that you're not expecting it. You have the page of swords with a message here. Maybe an announcement. Ace of pentacles. Again, you're getting your wish just not reflected in the way you thought. Really cool. <laughs> okay. This is uh, 
the see th the see through glass. Uh, I I'll remember it now. Strength card, looking through glass. The wheel of fortune. Wow, pile number one. Wow. You have the nine of swords. Initially starting out as stressful. And the eight of swords. Right, you have two more cards. Usually I'd like to wait to open them, but I feel really intrigued to open them. So we'll open them, keep them to the side, and bring them back. You have the hanged man hanging with time. Do you see there is a whole thing about timing here? And it's because the Mad Hatter in Alice in Wonderland is so stuck to timing. It uh, keeps having tea when really he doesn't need to be stuck by the time not moving it's a concept in his mind so you can greatly see the idea of you without knowing being stuck to a certain idea that could have been uh, keeping you hanging it may not be time but it could be an idea that's keeping you stuck and so the universe putting some kind of pressure on you will be <laughs> the greatest surprise look at that will be the greatest surprise to you that to take you out of something so stressful, so mentally keeping you stuck, to you saying, oh, that was easy. I didn't think I could get my uh, wish come true so easily. If I hadn't been so stubborn and seeing, not seeing something, do you see? So stubborn and not seeing something. I could have had this wish come true for a very long time. So yeah, stressful situation that's... It's like the universe is like, hello, you can take this wish. Why aren't you taking it? And you're like, no, no, it's happening for me. It's late. I'm late. It's not happening. And you realize, actually, that you're going to get your wish in such an easy way. And that's what the door here is emphasizing. Taking yourself out of your mental uh, claustrophobia or mental box of thinking that I'm stuck here, I must do it this way, it must happen this way, I don't have what it takes, whatever this idea is, and you'll be out free. Before you know it, with your wish happening and coming true for you uh, this year. And the Two of Swords. Right, so what I want to do now, uh, it's a choice that you're going to be making, and the universe is so adamant about you guiding you, which is what the cat here does in Alice in Wonderland, guiding you. You see, the cat in Wonderland doesn't take decisions for Alice. It just, you know, pokes fun and is sometimes sarcastic at uh, the ways Alice sees things in order to perhaps help guide Alice to see, see things in a different light. Think for herself. So I think the universe is like staring at you to make a certain choice that you're, you're not making and that's keeping you stuck, perhaps comfort in your comfort zone. And uh, that little stress that we're talking about will be the opening door to you finally cleansing this old energy out and seeing uh, what, uh, seeing yourself as powerful enough to make that wish come for you. Because it ob your wish obviously has an element of you doing something in the physical world to get it. And that's the message the universe is trying to show you. You, um, It seems to me like you are, you, you're so adamant about painting it in a certain way when really it's not, or maybe painting yourself in a certain way or painting your beliefs that it must happen in a certain way or a certain timing or with a certain thing when really it, it's outside time. Look, you keep getting time. What's the what's the deal with time here? Maybe you think you're running out of time. When your wish has nothing to do with time, it seems like you will have plenty of time to enjoy it. Okay, let me get back to the bike guide because now I'm so intrigued. I believe our eight of wands will be a guide to perhaps what this wish is and, and get more information about how it's going to happen. So one second. Okay, guys, I'm back. This is one of the 
you know how tarot readers, astrologers, and people who divine in general, when they are all struck with some great synchronicity in their reading and they say, you can't make this up. <laughs> well, this is definitely one of those you can't make this up moments. Look at that. So these are, of course, the meerkats. And did you know that uh, as I'm reading in the guidebook, it says that they are immune to venom of some snakes. It says, not surprising, considering they are related to the cobra-proof mongoose. So look at that. When we no longer let others inject their drama, expectations, or desires into our lives, we can allow ourselves to try something new. This is definitely talking about how you could have been... Uh, you could have had some limiting belief that it was the only reason that's been keeping you stuck. When the universe is like staring at you, telling you, you can do this. Why are you stuck? You have everything that it takes. And so the universe with the eight of wands here is expediting the process for you, for you to finally get that wish that you have been envisioning. It's yours. You know how it's exactly like someone who... Like, who's blessed with what? Let me think of an example. Like, let's say someone has, uh, what, what is it called? Photographic memory. And is really scared and praying to win in one of these win a million dollar shows, you know? <laughs> That's like the perfect candidate <laughs> to win for a show like that. Maybe a limiting belief, hearing everyone saying nobody wins the million dollars at this show or something. I know a lot of people do, but I'm just, you know, f trying to show the example for a limiting belief or the other. They think they can't do it when they are the exact candidate that can do it. Uh, so y the universe is like, how can someone look at the glare? How can someone like you not do it? Who's going to do it then? <laughs> so oh, also forgot to tell you about the plant here. The world loose strife, as you can see here, they've been used by the Cherokee people to treat ur urinary tract and kidney ailments. This body system filters and excretes acid and excess fluids, maintaining a healthy balance of water, salts, and minerals. Cleanse yourself of anything that takes your focus away from your ultimate goal. Uh, so do you see my point of <laughs> you can't make this up? This is un like... The, your reading is so clear and expediting in a limiting belief that you have is going to happen to you through a moment of stress. You know, the moon signifies the subconscious mind. So we're cleansing a thought that, that you have, or not we, the universe is cleansing a thought uh, that you have announcing the beginning of your wish finally coming true. Through that stressful moment, you're finding your true strength. And with you finding your strength, uh, you're really reaching the time, the divine time of you receiving that huge wish that you have in your heart. Whatever that wish is, whether you want to make a project come true, find the right person, um, travel i don't know what your wish is but it looks like there's communication here between you and the universe at this point it's like the universe is staring yeah that wish that you're thinking about <laughs> so yeah it's like uh, uh do note that something quite stressful uh is happening to you that's making you win so for that reason i don't feel sorry for you i'm actually very excited for you <laughs> it's like a little pinch and look at that the universe this is your significator card, sees you as Tefnut, which is the lioness goddess. You, you see the sun disk uh, of Ra, which was her father. She was one of the nine powerful uh, deities or goddesses of Heliopolis. So you can really see that you have everything that it takes. You're a powerful and strong person. It's, it, it, it's almost like the universe is saying, it's sad that a strong person like you uh, thinks they're stuck when it's not your situation this reading is not supposed to be yours because it is only yours due to a limiting belief and also you're seen as a pharaoh because with the nurtures the card chose to take um the nurture aspect of tefnut because when a pharaoh had a certain ailment or was feeling ill they would 
pray to Tefnut to nurture and bring health back to the Pharaoh. So you're really being cleansed out of these ideas through an experience that may feel like a scare for a while, but this care really is there to push you out of your limiting belief that's been keeping you stuck. And you will see things move beautifully. It's almost like, no, no, I can't ride the bike. I can't do it. And then somebody puts you on a bike and pushes you. And you're like, whoa, that's easy. Why was I scared? Um, yeah, especially if you like, perhaps like my example would work for someone who already knew how to ride a bicycle so well, perhaps was an athlete, uh, had a bit of an injury, forgot a little bit, and when put back on a bike and pushed, they're like, whoa, I got this. Why was I so scared? So it's like the, the, your reading here is really saying, this is not your story. Don't stay stuck in a story that's not yours. Come on, it's time for you to get out of it and get your wish happening and running and coming true for you. You're going to be very fortunate. You were supposed to be very fortunate a long time ago. Uh, I think you got a bit comfortable with your comfort zone because with the note here on the hat it's an idea that's just kept you from trying yeah and the universe is like right if uh, we're gonna wait for pile number one to try they're not gonna do it i think we might as well just give a little bit of a scare <laughs> to show them their true power and i'm really not worried because i feel a lot of feelings of bl uh, bliss in this reading i feel a lot of uh, beautiful feelings actually coming as the energy of your reading so I feel it's like right away you're going to find your power and think gosh why was I painting myself or my ideas or my thoughts towards this dream in a different light it is uh, it's so it's uh, it could be applied in a much easier way and I've always chosen to take the opposite direction running from it you'll actually be very thankful for this experience so very soon my dear pal number one, expect some sort of, uh, yeah, scare. I'm not going to lie to you. A bit of a scare. Because, you know, this is when uh, they were tricking the little baby oysters to come because they wanted to eat them. So you'll find yourself in a tricky situation. Uh, and only then will you find your power and go, hey. Uh, and with that power, you're finally connected to your subconscious power never again to lose it and once you find your power this is like the new chapter of you seeing that you're able to create it very easily and you will be able to create it for yourself and finally receive it from like it's almost like it's been waiting for you to receive it it's a blessing that you're meant to, to take but you haven't been reaching out your hand to take which you will be doing as you get connected to your strength so to me, the reading is not talking about the exact wish, but it's that one wish that's been taking so long that you've been waiting for, and it's there due to a limiting belief. This year, very soon, Eight of Wands, I don't know if I mentioned that, but the Eight of Wands means that the universe is expediting this process for you because it's been taking so long. Obviously, you're not, mo you're not moving because of that belief without realizing. Uh, the universe can see what you're not seeing, and yeah, they're expediting it in this way. It's like put them in the situation and only then will they see that they're able to do it. You're finally walking out uh, and being free. That's the outside, being free to enjoy uh, more than the limitations that, that you thought you had. And my dear pile number one, this is exactly what I see. I think the specific wish here belongs to you, not in the reading. Um, it's that one wish that you really want to have. It's been taking so long. And my dear pile number one, this was your reading. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. So happy for you. Can't wait to hear the updates. Please do update me, guys. I love hearing your updates. And I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. If you chose your pile intuitively, then your crystal is the beautiful Mukite Jasper. 
But if you chose your pile using your zodiac signs, then th in that case, the signs for this pile are Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, and Pisces. Welcome to your reading, guys. Today we're taking a look at what wish uh, is happening to you uh, before the end of the year. All right. So this is a tarot deck, one that I'm studying currently. Oh, looks like you've got two. I wanted to take one, but we'll follow the directions. But I really felt it was going to be very beneficial in today's reading. And why not read it as I'm studying with you guys, right? So let's see. I feel like your significator card is this one. Whoa. So you've got purse. You can see a lot of money showering in <laughs> from the universe up above. So privacy, finances, a windfall beautiful card to have it looks like some sort of wealth in what in whatever way material wealth is happening for you um before the end of the year material windfall right okay so you also have oh newt ah hold on uh, gotta fix this with the new YouTube rules. Okay, so you've got Newt with separation. Can't wait to see what this is all about. By the way, Newt is the um, daughter of Tefnut, which was the goddess in the first pile. So if you were drawn to pile number two, I highly recommend it. All right, so how about we place Newt right there so we have space. Whoa, look at that. You've got box. Mm. Lot of mystery in your reading. <laughs> okay. So the two tarot cards that we'll be reading about together are the two of pentacles. Oh, how cute. Right. The strawberries are ripe, ready to eat. Yes, you are meant to receive something right now for sure. There is a surprise element about the material wealth that you're getting. And you have the Knight of Swords. Right. Let's take a look at your tarot cards. So what wish or blessing is happening to you before the end of the year. Okay, that's it. Right, so you have the Three of Swords. The Seven of Wands, the Two of Swords, you have the Hierophant, the Three of Cups, Six of Swords, Knight of Swords, Wow, you got the Knight of Swords twice. That's significant. Well, obviously it's happening quickly because the Knight of Swords is one of the fastest knights in the deck. So that's certainly happening quickly for you. It's like almost like in the next couple of days, maybe very soon. I see three, two threes. That's a synch synchronicity here. So it could be three days, three weeks, next three months, like before the beginning of the new year. Yeah, look out for the threes. And you have the four of swords. We've got more. One, two, three, four, and five. Five more cards. Let's keep it right here. And we'll take a look at them in a moment. So I do see you celebrating something that used to be a source of pain. Like maybe um, with pain, it could be maybe you have some... Um, debts that you have to pay speaking of wealth and with that large amount of money coming in not only will you be celebrating uh, 
paying off that debt, but you'll be celebrating great prosperity. Hmm. I see the Hierophant here as an element of a prayer coming true because i do see with newt of course the skies the universe there's the element of you prayed not knowing how it's going to happen and you still don't know how it's going to happen it seems there's a lot of mystery here but i do feel like your prayer is coming true in terms of paying off something or being able to have the finances to fix something or the other in your life and even more so something is going ripe here and that makes me think i want to first read about the two of pentacles here um before we go ahead and look at the knight of swords which is very significant because we've got two so let me read about the two of pentacles first okay so very interesting the two of pentacles here represent the european hedgehogs and as i read they stalk prey without using their eyes because their senses of hearing and smell allow them to hunt during the day while their eyesight is reserved for nocturnal navigation use your intuition as you navigate through your next task also i've read about the inchworm and how it moves on its own pace also enjoying the strawberry one bite at a time so i'm getting the strong message that the the reason you have a surprise here is because during these next three months three days three weeks <clears throat> you'll be greatly guided you won't need to use your physical eyes you you'll be guided to how to what steps to take exactly to overcome these challenges and uh, open up a windfall of wealth into your life how this is going to happen you, the universe will definitely be guiding you also the knight of swords providing you with the correct information on how to do it fast you'll find that you will be getting opportunities that you're not seeing at the moment and how to see these opportunities like they'll show you opportunities that you're not seeing at the moment and how to make use of them how to hunt them down and these opportunities that are really presented to you by the universe because they're showing it to you without you seeing it will be the celebration or the cause for this windfall to happen to you very quickly. Also, I do see with the Four of Swords that it's it's going to happen so easily that it, you're almost going to do it as you're resting. It's nothing that you're going to work super hard for. That's what's depicted here. A wish that's coming easily for you. Almost as if you find found out about something and all you had to do was to click on a certain button or something it's going to be so so easy it's almost fulfilled with the strawberries being ripe okay another thing that i want to look at is the knight of swords because it is very significant i do know that it's an element of time it's an element of getting the right information at the right time uh, but i want to see what this knight of swords is and then again i'll be back oh my god guys i love what this represents the knight of swords here so this is this is a bird that's called jackson's hornbill and they're only found in kenya and uganda where they have a great symbolism for the local people so watch this spotting one outside your home means bad luck illness or even death however uh, coming across a hornbill in the wild is a sign of good fortune <laughs> coming your way the numerical swords card uh, cards the numerical swords cards have seen you through some major difficulties yes of course uh, this court card indicates you've overcome these obstacles you can see it right there. 
and are heading towards a place of confidence and determination. And I love this card because I love the opening sentence here. It says, the earth shakes when the sun of swords or the knight of swords is pulled. You no longer get distracted by opposition or naysayers in your life. So I really see that you're no longer going to be suffering through some worry or anxiety regarding money specifically or some material thing that you want and your prayers are now heard yes you do not see it coming the universe will show you how you can get it is what i'm seeing in your cards here and that's one of the wishes coming in your life it's going to come as a windfall so much so like i mentioned so quickly that not only are you not going to have to worry about financial worries any longer but you're going to be celebrating it living in great uh, harmony with it enjoying the prosperity that it's bringing to you mm. so yeah we we did talk about it or you finally being able you being able to overcome your financial um challenges and other challenges the, this wealth is going to not only help you overcome yeah yeah financial worries but also other challenges that are standing in your way so this wealth is coming in to as a first one of your wishes to overcome a certain financial difficulty but it will also help you have the means to slowly overcome other difficulties that you've had maybe like examples hitting my mind could be uh, especially with the strawberries maybe it's going to help you heal some certain ailments like pay for better medication doctor and nutrition supplements uh, maybe it's going to help you with yeah other challenges that you had it's like you're beating one challenge after the other with this material windfall that's coming for you okay so we've got five more cards let's see what they're saying ah so you've got the hermit Wow, the King of Pentacles, of course. Definitely a strong part of your reading. I was just thinking, I was just thinking, we, uh, the King of Pentacles should have been here. I mean, it's not for me to say, but there we go. <laughs> wow, the Ace of Cups. A strong financial beginning. Temperance. And as I'm seeing the Hermit, I'm hearing uh, Michael Jackson's song, You are not alone, I am here with you. Though we're far apart, you're always in my heart. This is a message of love. Maybe you have someone on the other side oh, that loves you so much, that is there trying to help you, telling you, don't worry, you're not alone. Uh, things are going to work out they're going to come into balance we are on our foots are in different world but we can still connect and help each other so this is definitely that's why you have newt the sky separation yes so yeah i i'll tell you why newt here they chose the uh, so the keyword separation because the ancient egyptians they believed that newt separated the chaos of the cosmos from from our earth was like our shield so oh good thing we talked about that so it's like they are shielding you from difficulties yeah this is a message for some of you either from your guides or if you're in pain about a separation from a dear loved one this is a message for you from a loved one on the other side they'll make sure you are financially stable they're giving you a hand they want to help you out you're not alone and although you are in different worlds they their connection still exists and passing on still happens and they can give you from the other side isn't that sweet <laughs> there is a helping hand here and they're by you uh, and if it's not for you i know it's a general reading then it means your your guides are there from the other side giving a hand supporting you making this wish happen for you and which one which will help you uh, achieve many other wishes and you have the hanged man. You know, the hanged man is selflessness. It's um, someone on the other side helping you 
because they love you. Uh, they can see that you have been hanging in there for quite a while. And they want to make sure that you are okay. And although it's taken some time, things are meant to go the way that they're supposed to. Just like the ripening strawberries, things are supposed to take their cycle. And they are now able to give a hand, reach out to you, give a hand and help you out. It um, Somehow, perhaps due to universal laws or something, they're now, for one reason or the other, able to help, give a helping hand and help you out maybe you know the universal laws like perhaps you were meant to stay alone for a while to figure things out to build something and maybe you have reached a certain milestone where they can they're able to give a helping hand and give these blessings to you so yeah a huge wealth is coming down on you um and whether this is your guide or a loved one, you're not separated. You're always there together. And they, they're they helping you selflessly. This is pure love. Yeah, Ace of Cups. What was I thinking? Pure love. They're there uh, to show you that you're not alone. And out of their joy and love for you, pride in a good way, of course, how proud they are, how much they love you. Perhaps this is someone who was selflessly always there for you. Such a sweet soul. A sweet evolved soul for sure. Spiritual soul. And they they will be they will make sure you're absolutely stable, especially financially, and doing well. So this is exactly what I see when it comes to what wish or blessing is happening to you before the end of the year. Uh, many surprises to come, especially ones that you're not seeing, that they will be showing to you so that you can make use of these opportunities uh, and the wealth coming as a result. My dear pal number two, such a cool reading. Wishing you the best of luck. <laughs> and I truly hope you've enjoyed your reading. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And my dear pile number two, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. If you chose your pile intuitively, your crystal is the beautiful snowflake obsidian. Let me try. Oh, there we go. That's the one. But if you chose your pile with your zodiac signs, then in that case, your zodiac signs are Virgo, Cancer, Aries, and Taurus. Welcome to your reading, guys. If these are not your zodiac signs, please don't worry about it at all. Do know that they are present in your reading because they match the energy that we were we are about to see at the moment. So um, let's see what you get. This is, by the way, a botanical... Uh, and animal tarot deck that I'm studying at the moment. I love it and I believe it's going to add greatly to your reading. I haven't studied fully yet, so if the card, if I don't know the card, we're going to be reading about it together in the guidebook. Uh, because in the last two piles, these cards were really like the magical card for every pile. <laughs> so can't wait to see how, what type of detail it brings into your reading today. Let's create now space and bring out your significator card. I feel like this is your significator card. You have Horus with strength. Wow. Okay. Lovely. And you have Chalice. Um, revelry intoxication and generosity i paused for i paused for a moment because i thought of the holy grail when i looked at this cup okay the holy grail also when uh, reading about secrets you know sometimes the holy grail is referred to the child right and horus is the child of uh, Isis and Osiris. So for some of you, some of you, if you're wishing to get a child, in that case, 
this wish is going to be fulfilled, but maybe child refers to something else. Let's find out. So you have the two of swords. We'll read about it in a moment. And whoa, you've got fig. Mm -hmm. Let's pull out your tarot cards. What about, how about we create space? We can put the fig right there, the fig card. And now we have a space for one more card. So what wish or blessing is meant to happen to you before the end of the year? So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Let's see what they are. So you have the death card right, um, right off the bat. So some huge transformation is going on there. Wow, you have the Ace of Cups. I feel like this is a huge wish coming true. You have the Two of Swords again. Very significant in your reading. The Empress, didn't I tell you? Some of you, if you, if you are dreaming about having a child, that's happening. Also remember, a child is the inception of an idea, of a project, of something that you want to bring out to the world. You have the Emperor, wow. Whoa, the Empress and the Emperor. Also, this could be like the holy grail of your wishes. Maybe you want to find your counterpart and form a family. So that's coming pretty strong in that pile for sure. Because the Ace of Cups is like butterflies in the stomach and love. Come, or also two love birds. Ooh. Yeah, that's the sort of vibe so far I'm getting from this uh, pile. The Emperor again in the female form. There are two empresses, emperors in this... Um, deck so i can't help but feel like a strong counterpart coming also remember when we said isis osiris and horus we see family everywhere and you have the king of wands yeah look uh, this reading is talking for sure about building a family and finding love passionate love also with the holy grail this is like uh, like finding the ultimate love. Um, and I really feel with all the flowers here in the death card, you know how when love can feel so potent, it's strong. Uh, you'll f I feel like uh, to before the end of the year, you're finding someone or both of you, you're going to be meeting someone where both of you are thinking a lot about each other. There's a lot of passion and love and emotion and of course of course desire happening in your reading here yeah uh, and the beats remind me of heartbeats dum 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 so so much love so much passion uh, a family coming together being formed for sure mm. what does the fix say in the guidebook so let me take a look at of course the main card with the two of swords and let me take a look at the fig as well okay so i've had a look at the fig it's talking about a fruit being ripe and it's luring you in calling you to eat it so you can really see that both of you find each other to be very attractive um, you're very drawn to each other and i get the sense of um love at first sight being blinded by love, especially in the beginning, not knowing where to go. Because I do see uh, here with the grooved Bill Annie's, uh, the grooved Bill Annie, right? It talks about how um, they, the grooved Bill Annie's fledglings, right? Begin flying at 10 day old, but poorly a week later, and they are flying well, taking strong flaps and short glides. So I believe that this is something forming at the very beginning, you know, where both of you see each other, you're very attracted to each other, you don't know how, 
what you both feel about each other, but something sparks right away in your heart, changing everything with the death card and putting you at a crossroad with the two of swords where major things will be changing in your life as you start getting closer to each other, getting to know each other. You know, there is this beginning of not knowing how to fly, like both of you not knowing when to meet, should you meet, if you're interested in each other at all, you know. And then all of a sudden, perhaps in 10 days, who knows, maybe this timing was relevant here. Maybe in a matter of 10 days, you're both flying off and this whole relationship or connection beginning between the two of you. If you're already with someone and this is about, you know, conception, then the they could be representing eggs and you being, you know, ready to for inception, for things to start flying off. But for most of you, especially if you are single, this is definitely talking about form, forming a lifelong bond with someone, forming uh, family trees with them, right? And this is going to be a strong counterpart for you. There's no question about that. And I do see fire happening. <laughs> Butterflies, fire, heartbeats happening between the two of you. I see you as equally impressive and strong for each other uh, and having the possibility of forming a strong stable family a healthy one for the children to come uh, forming a new eon a new generation healthy generation but be prepared that there is going to be major changes happening in both your lives major uh, adjustments and many things that you're doing now that will be changing with the crossroads here. I don't know, uh, maybe you'll be moving to different locations. Maybe, I don't know, there are some sort of alterations that are going to happen as you two come together. Uh, what I can say is you will find your life transforming and changing as you know it today. Look at that, these beautiful lilies. You know what I love about the lilies is that when you have a bouquet, they surprise you every morning. One opens and then the next. They're very, uh, what is it called? Interactive flowers almost. <laughs> like every day you're like, oh, look, uh, this one bloomed and this one bloomed and so on. So I feel like this is love that keeps on giving, that keeps on blooming, that keeps on growing and developing better, especially with the grapes. It reminds me of wine. It ages well. So yeah, I feel like uh, this connection will be aging, aging really well to two mature people coming together for sure. Great counterparts. And speaking of wine, is this grapes? Let me check, actually. Even if it's not, that's what we channeled here. But let's see what um, what this is. So uh, a, it's a berry, a Cy Palms berry. It has become a craze over the last few years. Yeah, I can really see... The, that you're very, uh, there's a lot of attention on each other. Also, craze reminds me of crazy or crazy over each other. <laughs> um, yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful love ha uh, happening here for you. I feel like you're drinking from each other's potion of love. Uh, yeah, you're really smitten by each other. And this is love that is here to bloom and stay. I truly hope you have in, uh, you will enjoy this, I mean, because it does look like a, a very unique type of stable love that you will really love and enjoy. I wish you the best of luck <laughs> with this. It seems like it's going to taste so good. And I feel like you're going to have happy children together as well. Might I say a happy, strong generation. Perhaps the, em the next emperor here... Uh, is talking about also the second generation, the generations to come uh, are going to be very stable and strong. Mm. Uh, love your reading, my dear pile number three. 
this is exactly what I see as what blessing or wish will be happening to you before the end of the year. I truly wish you the best of luck. May you enjoy beautiful love and a beautiful family forever. <laughs> this was your reading. And if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And my dear pal number three, wishing you the best. And I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye.